There are some 13-year-olds out there who will one day grow up to save lives. But there aren't many 13-year-olds who are doing it already. In tonight's Making a Difference report, meet a local young lady who has helped so many kids that she was recently recognized by the United Nations. Okay, we did our project on Hernan Cortez. Students can sometimes be our best teachers. The Native Americans were so Naomi is very unique. Eighth grader Naomi Kodama is giving a presentation on the Spanish explorer Cortez to her class at West Middle School. Hernan set sail on November 18th, 1518. Though she's learning about the past, she's always dreaming of a better future. How often have you heard a 13-year-old so well-versed on the world's problems. Nearly one million people die of malaria every, like every year, and most people are under the age of five. To understand where she's coming from, you have to understand where she comes from. She was born in the U.S., but she has family in Brazil and Japan. I remember this. Her father, Edson Kodama, is the general secretary of Junior Chamber International. Based in Chesterfield, it's an international youth service organization with the aim and purpose of creating positive changes in the world. That may be why, when Naomi was just seven years old, she became aware of the devastating Indonesian tsunami. She said, I would like to give all the money I have, and they said, how much you have? I said, $3.75. I said, that's great. And for her birthday party that year, instead of gifts, she asked her friends to bring donations. It's kind of hard to celebrate your birthday if you see a tragedy going on. Since then, all Naomi's birthdays have been about not what she can get, but what she can give. I have never had a student who has done so much for so many. She is kind and caring and does so many great things, but she's so humble. This year, she traveled with her parents to West Africa to an orphanage in Mali where she handed out dozens of toys and stuffed animals. You see the kids, the, the eyes, just to get a, a, a teddy bear. They don't have anything, but the teddy bear was so precious. Just seeing them have the toy in their hands and be like screaming and being like happy because I never imagined it would be like that. At Naomi's request, the toys were all donated by her classmates at West Middle School. And all of a sudden, it opened up the world to our classroom. It changes your way of thinking about how I can present my lessons. More than any other cause, Naomi has been committed to nothing but nets. Which is a campaign that collects money, that's just $10 for a net, and they send it to families in Africa so they can sleep under it so that they don't get malaria. She hasn't kept track of just how many nets she sent, but this past summer, at halftime of a basketball game in Chicago, she received a champion award from the United Nations, an award given to just 24 other people, including former President George Bush and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair. I see the other people that were nominated. I see how much they've done, and then I feel like I have to do more. Nobody can do everything, but Naomi Kodama believes everyone can do something. She may have started young, but says she plans to continue until she gets old. Very proud. Yeah, I'm very proud. When it comes to making a difference, no minimum age required. There's never been anyone like Naomi. If you would like to learn more about Naomi's project, Nothing But Nets, or Junior Chamber International, we can link you to their websites when you go to this story in the Making a Difference section at KSDK.com. And a reminder, if you know of a unique and interesting positive story, or if you know of an individual making a difference, let me know personally at mbush at KSDK.com.